Germs are everywhere. On toys, door handles, computer keyboards, coins, telephones, grocery carts, virtually anything that people touch. There are millions of germs that can make us sick. Many can live for several hours to several days on surfaces. Exposure to these germs often occurs when you touch a contaminated surface, then touch your eyes, nose, or mouth. There are many remedies available to make us feel better when we get sick, but isn't a gram of prevention better than a kilo of cure? There is an excellent way to protect yourself. Hand washing is a simple and effective way to prevent the spread of infectious disease. However, to get the maximum benefit from hand washing, you have to use good hand washing technique. So for the next few minutes, we'd like to show you an example of good hand washing technique. There are six simple steps you need to follow for proper hand washing. First, wet your hands with warm water to melt the soap. The second step is to apply soap and produce lather. The third step is to rub your hands together for 10 to 20 seconds to remove as many germs as possible. Be sure to rub in between your fingers, do your thumbs, and wash the back of your hands as well as the palms. Once you've finished lathering, rinse your hands thoroughly under running water to remove the soap. Pat rather than wipe your hands dry with a paper towel. Rubbing can chap and irritate your hands. Remember, germs can live on the handle too. Finally, use a towel to turn off the tap. More and more often, alcohol-based hand sanitizers are made available in public buildings. Used properly, these sanitizers can help prevent disease. Alcohol content should be between 60 and 70 percent. The sanitizer should be used when entering and exiting the building. First, apply a dime-sized portion of sanitizer to your palm. Begin by placing all five fingertips in the sanitizer in your palm. Then transfer the sanitizer to your other palm and repeat. Then rub your hands together, palm to palm. Be sure to spread the sanitizer between your fingers and onto the backs of your hands. Keep rubbing until all of the sanitizer has evaporated. Paper towels are not required. You should wash your hands often, probably more often than you do now, because you can't see germs with the naked eye or smell them. It is especially important to wash your hands before, during, and after you prepare food, before you eat, after using the bathroom, after handling animals or animal waste, when your hands are dirty, often when someone in your home is sick, after handling dirty diapers, and after sneezing or coughing. Help prevent the spread of germs. Wash your hands frequently with warm water and soap. When water is not available, use an alcohol-based wipe or gel hand sanitizer. And remember, a gram of prevention is worth a kilo of cure. Thank you.